Good kitten internet. I decided to continue playing because why not? Um, as long as I stick to about an hour, I should be fine. I should have enough time to make dinner and so on. So one thing I forgot to do last time is that we have more crust graphs to use. So this time, well, I don't really need those as much now that I can mystic them, I suppose. Um, let's go ahead and get Berserk. Or Anger, I think it's called in this. It's use Rage. It's useful for people like Rudy, who have no other options, really. Really, it's not even worth using his gun at this point. Mostly because I didn't bother um, <laughs> getting anything. So, Nullify Magic Spell Enemy, I think that's actually the Dispel ability. But I think slowing down the group would not be a terrible idea either. Slow down. All right. So we have Sonic Force now. Um, or Sonic Attack. No, I think it's Sonic Force. Ship is finally here, but the current also brought a ghost ship. Let's see it from here. There's a ghost ship coming this way. So, I'm really confused as to what the plot's supposed to be at this point, and I've actually beaten the game before, multiple times. So, at the docks, I think we can go to the ghost ship. Go to a ship. Dream Chasers, I'm surprised to see you here after what happened last time. Our luck hasn't gotten any better. We're involved with this ghost ship mess. Yes, my friends, it's the sweet candy with Captain Pedo Pants. You guys always seem to appear when I need you. My soulmates! You're creepy. Can you give a hand, me a hand again? Please? Why don't you get rid of this ghost ship that's frightening everyone at the port? If you succeed, people at the port will be happy again. We'll be able to resume trade. Of course, you'll be known as the dream chasers who saved the port. You see, it's a win-win situation. Isn't this a great plan? No hurry. You need to make some preparations first? Come back when you're ready. Um, I'm going to buy some items because we're low on healing items and I chew through healing berries in this game. Uh, in later Wild Arms games, heal berries are actually much more uncommon. Uh, in fact, you can't buy them at all in Wild Arms 3. Also, let's upgrade the stupid hand cannon a little bit. There we go. Now it's actually a useful item. Um, there's not really much of a reason to increase the hit percentage on it, because I don't use it unless if I'm locking on anyway. Trudy doesn't have much else to do with his um, powers right now. What was I doing? Right, items. It's over here. Because I want heal berries. Let's get 50 of them. How are we doing on everything else? 5, 15, 5, 14, 7, 5, 6. That's plenty. Alright. Let us continue. Into the obligatory ghost ship level. Also, this is not where we're supposed to be. It hasn't glitched the game or anything. Yep, we can go. We'll transfer from the sweet candy to the ghost ship. But yeah, it hasn't glitched the game or anything, luckily. So we sail north to ghost ship. I think that's the only time in the game we don't control where we move. Just going to and from here. All right. One thing about this is this is another one of those, I think we can only be here once dungeons. So we're going to want to make sure that we collect everything. It's deteriorated from long-term exposure to sea air. Oh, hey, look, it's another one of these places. Something in this room. Oh, that's for handpan to grab. 
potion berry. So radar actually still works when it's dark, which can be helpful. Enemies, oh no, who would have got thought enemies on a ghost ship? Ah, slow image read. Ah, Christine's. These are the ones that say I hate you. Also, vampires that look like chickens. No idea why. Trickster the vampire, I guess. No, actually, I think I want to trickster the Christine. Um, let's analyze... No, let's just light blow Rudy. Rudy punched the vampire to death. Windmill. Okay, so they cause confusion. Great. Good thing I just made Lu Rudy's light power surge. It's fine. He'll be fine. Also, everybody's faster than them, which is not what I was expecting to see. Christine. Creepy doll with... I hate you! But vampires can heal by draining your blood. Just kind of like normal vampires. Trickster the vampire. Analyze Christine. Punch in the face. That's nothing. Okay. <coughs> Christine. 300 hit points. Weak against Holy. They don't even hit as hard as the previous set of enemies, oddly enough. Well, everybody's gonna die now. Also, Christine's have creepy glowing red eyes. I've never noticed that. Aw, oh, yeah, Bookie. That was worth a thousand XP. Uh. Alright. I can't get that right now, that chest. I'm gonna have to come back from another side. I think. Actually, wait. I might have been able to over on the left. No. Okay. All right. Here's the lantern. No anything in here. We are men of the sea. Pirating and smuggling is our life. We still be able to fight, even if we get shaved to our bones. Arr! So yep, the skeletons can fight, and they're cybergeists. I don't know what makes them cyber. I swear this has got to be a mistranslation of some type. Trickster. Analyze. Punch in the face. Has nothing. Good to know. Whatever, guys. I'm predicting they're weak against Holy. Level 29? 800 hit points weak against Holy. Much higher level than me. Probably means that they're worth a decent amount of XP. Also, they counterattacked me. That's abnormal. Punch in the face. Oops. Light blow, Rudy. Punch in the face. <laughs> they hurt hard. Hurt hard? Really me? I meant hit hard or they hurt. Anyway, they're dead now. It doesn't matter. 1200 XP. I'm going to be leveling quite a bit. Anything else in here, is there? Nope. That was a useless room. Hooray. Light the lantern again. I don't think these actually go out, by the way. Well, I mean, I know that they actually go out, but you know what I mean. The dead do not speak. What if I use the bullet book wand? Nope, they really don't speak. Okay. Couldn't resist. Let me die! I don't want to be a pirate anymore! Let me out of this darkness! So it's not just a ghost ship, it's a pirate ghost ship. Yarhar, me mates. We meet again. Cybergeist. Still don't know what makes it cyber.
Rudy's light power surges. Oh, they're not dead yet. Well, that stinks. Die. Death did. That's a lot of XP. They also hurt a lot. Logbook, read it. There's a piece of paper folded in the book. The stuff is behind a hidden door. No one knows about the hidden switch on the side of the bed. Weathered skeleton. Also, nothing else here. Okay. Side of the bed. Not that one. I think it's actually the one all the way to the left. Or all the way to the right. The other left, you know. There it is. And we have stairwell down. Radar? Nothing. I don't know what in the world it actually breaks on, given that that's a giant hole in the ground. But whatever. All right. I need to remember how to get those treasure chests. I don't remember off the top of my head how. Wraith and two Christines, who hate me, of course. Trick store, Wraith. Light blow, Rudy. Rudy, punch in the face. Did Wraith have anything? Yes, it does. I hate you. Really don't understand that sound effect. Oh, that thing's very dead. I was gonna scan it, but oh well. Everything's gonna die. Sweet. That was a critical hit for four digits. I think that was our first four digit attack, wasn't it? Cecilia leveled up, also the four digit money and four digit XP. Nice. Cecilia. Yep. Just going through the others really fast. You'll notice that their XP seems to have mostly normalized. I really don't understand. Not what I want that is. Yep, so those are available. Just don't know how to get at them right now. So I cannot destroy things with the grapple, and I can't sand hand pan in because of the boxes. Oh, I remember how to do this now, okay. The answer is that we don't. We just don't. Lighter. Hey. See, this is one of those, the game is making sure you do things in the right order things. Okay. Well, hand pan will help me here. Magic carrot. And encounter to combat without hand pan news. How else will I trick store? I don't even think it's worth giving Rudy light right now. <clears throat> Cause I mean they seem to have next to no defense. Just eyeballing things. Brutal blow. Whoa. That's creepy looking. Yeah, Rudy can one shot him even without light flow. Alright. What am I doing on hit points? Um, this is why I bought some. Excuse me, heal berries. Potion berry. Nice. No other items in here. 
lucky card. Yep, there's a treasure chest over there that I can't reach right now. Oh, go back in. Grapple over. Grapple over. I didn't really need the light for that. Safe point. Because that's not creepy. Grab this item. Potion berry. Nothing else on the surface. There's a flame there. I bet this is a boss. Captain Geist, the dead will roam the wasteland now. Celebrate our glory with your lives. Bum, 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 bum. Captain Geist! Happen, guys. I know this is a huge shock, but I'm going to be casting Light Blow a bunch. Bet nobody expected that. So, crit does 500 damage. Regular attack does 300 damage. Interesting. Banishing Buster Anchor! Ow. By the way, do you have anything? Light blow jack. How much does cannon to the face deal? Has nothing, okay. There are bosses that do have items on them. And cannon, which does not have light blow, may I note. Does almost as much as light blow. Banishing Buster Anchor! Bonk. Oh wait, finally, I can show you Sonic Vision, Focus, Strength, and Attack. Basically, it's an auto crit. But I want to see his new summon. Also, uh, Cute Ribbon, I think, is the only other thing we can try to Mystic. That's okay. Starry Row! Which is light-based, if I remember right. Eight hundred thirty-three damage is pretty darn good. All right, the final item: cute ribbon, which does hide. Really? Interesting. I didn't realize that happened. Well, we need to fix his paralysis. Okay, um, Mystic, target the one that's currently invisible. So what Hide does, it's a higher level spell, one that I don't have access to right now at all. Um, actually, I'm not so sure it's weak against light now that I'm looking. Great, why do you keep getting stunned? I mean, to be fair, this is a much better, um, use of the enemy's time in my mind summon guardian i'm thinking this pirate's not actually weak against light i don't know because i jack hasn't been able to attack yet moa gold i uh... i should probably re-equip ruby now that i think about it because that's a really weak attack at this point Boom. Probably have a better rune for him. Uh, not really. Not if I want his strength up. Good to know. Punch to the face. Um, rage, Rudy. Rudy, smash. 
So that's the crit for a thou- Okay, yeah, it's weak against light. Good to know. All abilities raise 10%. Bonk. Vanishing Buster Anchor! So yeah, hide basically just makes you invisible for a little bit. It's not that great of an ability in my mind. I'm gonna save up for Sonic Vision so I can show it to you, assuming that it lives long enough. Honestly, I don't think it will. Um, we're going to... Which one was Lock State? White Robe. You'll notice that Rudy's now regenerating hit points, and also I didn't control what he's doing. That's what Berserk does in this, and Berserk is awesome on Rudy. I want Rudy to be like this forever. Sonic Vision! Yep, that was 3,000 damage. So it's more than just a crit. Sonic Vision's pretty powerful. I use that for most of the game. Bum, bum. 1,700 XP, 7,800 gal. Ah, I should have lucky carded that. I always forget to do that. I think everything's done? I'm going to quickly save state and then go back through a couple of areas just in case. I've already save stated. No, don't worry about it. Um, in fact, we're going to go fast forward. We're not going to fast forward because it's too hard to control. So I know I haven't hit everything technically, and yes, those items, I know what's going to happen. and I'm not worried about that. This I can fast forward. Oh, they're regular enemies too. Great. We be leveled up though. Also, Jack needs hit points badly. There's Rudy's new level. I think that increased the tech by eight. Jeez. Of course, he has a bunch of things equipped, so I don't think my screen grabs of level ups are very valid because um, runes are percentage based. Funk. Oh, grappling hook. Come on, let me through. Speed this up. They're just Christine's. Now Cecilia's not that far off of being able to one-shot him. I still can't get at that. So that has to be from a different angle. And that's the reason why... Yeah, I can't get at it from there. Take a look. I have to be able to enter from the left. That's the only answer. Ooh. Secret sign, nice. That secret sign is going to be put to good use. Bam. Now it costs three. Pretty. There's nothing else in here, right? Right. Okay. How did I miss that before? I have no idea. Oh, well. At least I got it. Paint use down to 67 damage.
Jack levels up. I'm not going to bother showing the level ups anymore. Now that I think about the percentage thing and how that works, it doesn't make any sense to level up. How do I get back? There. Just had to find the right spot. And let's make sure I didn't miss anything. No, I already got it. Cool. I remember using hand pan there. Now we're back on the surface. This is the side I didn't enter before. I bet this is how you get at that last treasure chest, and that'll be it. I wish I would have actually gone to where I can find um, Rudy's next uh, life drain. Damn it. Um, Rudy's next arm. Because that's actually what we've skipped. And just because I've done a bit of a sequence break doesn't actually help me. It's more because it was interesting. That's the reason why I continued. All that for a potion berry. This does not count as a dungeon for purposes of escape. Good to know. Oh. Okay, that's actually cleared out then. Good. Oh, come on, let me out. Aha! Problem with life drains, that you actually have to be damaged to use it properly. Alright. I believe that's it. I'm gonna save state here. And I'm going to quickly look up items to make sure I didn't miss anything major. Go ship in the undead captain, walk through section, sure, that'll work. Uh, let's see. Oh. I got everything. Yep. Sorry, Rudy. Yes, you can leave the ghost ship. Boom. And that's the last time that we can enter the ghost ship, but we got everything. Or did we? We have those three chests, though. How in the world did Captain Pedo Pants actually get involved with us anyway? And hey, look! It's a sunny day again. Oh wait, no it isn't. It's just sunset. And Pan, why are your ears bouncing? I don't know. Anyway, we get brought back to Yard. You guys have helped me not once, but twice. My pride and honor tells me to give you the use of my ship. This will allow you to travel the inner sea. By the way, why are you guys traveling around, Phil Guy, anyway? I have no idea. I would like to know the entire story. Wow, I had no idea something like that was happening. Neither do I, because we haven't been told part of the story. But it sounds exciting. Let me and the sweet candy take care of the sea. Captain, I've got a favor to ask. I'm from Adelaide, and my town was destroyed by the monsters. I want to go and rebuild it. That's right, you were an architect. Don't worry about us, we'll be fine. Go rebuild your town. Thanks for your everything. I'm in your debt. Let me go walk off at Yard rather than Adelaide, where I should go off at. As you do. It's a very talented person. We'll probably make Adelaide better than it was before. Okay. We'll make preparations for departure. We'll meet you at the beach outside of town. So, we now have a boat. It's been a half an hour. We're actually making really good time this time. More importantly, we go over here and, hey, look, there's the three chests. It's a goat doll. 
Grass Graph, and Windbane. So the Goat Doll is a really interesting item, and I actually don't know of an equivalent in any other Wild Arms game. Or in any other game, there's equivalent in other Wild Arms games. Um, goat Dolls, if you equip it as an accessory and you get killed, the Goat Doll is sacrificed and you instantly revive yourself. So it's a re-revive or re-raise in other games. There's a limited number of them in this game. Normally, you can obviously use a duplication trick, but it's interesting. Oh, we've got a Crest Graph shop here. Might as well hit it. Oh, how many? We have one. Okay. Let's grab Dispel. We need to rearrange our spells, but we'll do that a bit later. You'll notice that we're pretty close to done with the tier 1 crest magic. Ah, oh, okay, it's that dog. I was just wanting to make sure that was not somebody else. So yeah, the Guardian Blade is a very interesting item, and we'll find out more about it later on in the game. Yes, you can only use ships in water. The land of Artica is now no man's land because of that fallen bridge. Hint, hint, you can't actually reach Artica right now. Let's go ahead and save here in Yard. And then we're going to head out and go across the seas for a while. We now have our boat, complete with theme music. Um, it's a good thing that we have this boat because, okay, so the boat can go across light and dark water, but not the lightest water. You'll see what I mean shortly. Like this is the lightest water. Those are shoals. Boat can't go there. So that's Kieran Abbey, by the way. And yes, there are random encounters on the sea. Junk. They hurt a little. We're actually fairly well equipped now. Oh. I wonder if these are like normal encounters from like the island that we're next to instead. Nope, nope, never mind. 200 damage is definitely more water type of enemy. That should have done more than zero damage. Pinch. Pinch. Yeah, water enemies hurt, by the way. It's the... So, this is basically the first major difficulty spike of the game, is you have now have access to water, and by the way, everything hurts. Guardian everything. I don't even know if they might actually be immune to it, but it doesn't matter. They're dead from that anyway. So this was Falcon on Trap. That has Trap right in the name. What do you expect? Anyway, there's also these. Item floating in the bottle. You can't carry any more duplicator. So those are duplicators. Um, frequently, you'll find ships, uh, things in a bottle. They could be duplicators. They could be other items. They could be messages. I don't think any of them are random encounter, at least. Notice that the music's changed. It's no longer depressed. It's now small town music. It's a place called Vulcanon Trap on an island in the inner sea. There you will find a machine that amplifies the power of darkness town is still alive. That's why we must keep rebuilding it. Yeah. Yeah, you still have the older stuff. I'm a traveling swordsman. In my travels, I have heard of scrolls called the Secret Sign, which pass on ancient sword fighting techniques. If you give me one of these scrolls, I will sh show you a new sword technique. 
Will you spare one of your scrolls in exchange for a new technique? So this person only appears when you actually repair Adelheid a little bit. So this is the first thing that we've encountered now that will improve Adelheid. Um, which one is this anyway? Ugh, this one. I'm actually not a fan of this ability, but that's fine. That's it, the secret sign. All right, all right, here's my end of the bargain. There's a soul in everything that exists. You can defeat the enemy by damaging its soul without touching its body. You can reach its soul by extending your own. This is the essence of the void. The ultimate sword fighting mentality. Ching. It's an instant death attack. So here's where Tom's at. I've completed the repairs of the town's cobblestones. So Tom is the one that tells you what you've actually done repair-wise. That's right. The cobblestones actually look right. The buildings aren't, though. Didn't even notice they were fixed until now. I think this means we can start donating again. Yep. Of course I will. So now we enter and exit the town. Oh, I wish I had skates right now. Skates are one of Rudy's tools later on. It makes moving much faster. So a weird thing is that OneNote is trying to use the controls from my uh, Xbone controller, so it's doing all sorts of weird things up there. All right, enter exit. Let's Tom say that he's done. Still cobblestones, okay. I know I could probably just look up to see what gets repaired each time, but I don't know. Also, now that we have access to the sea, I don't need to worry as much about money because grinding for money is much quicker now. Job's not done yet. Would you donate 5,000 Gela? Sure. Wow, you sure are a kind person. Thanks. A strange triangular tower at the far end of the east inner sea. We need money and people to reconstruct Adelaide. So you notice that there's more people moving around. So yeah, there's an outer ocean, inner ocean. I can show you on the map when we get back outside. Supposed to be eight golems altogether. Let's keep that in mind. Also. Okay, nothing's been added. So yeah, there's more people moving around now. Yep, the festival grounds are off limits for the rest of the game. You actually cannot re-enter the festival area. Huh? Seven Gela. What? Protected ruin called the Giant's Cradle near the shores of the Inner Sea. This ruin supposedly has a giant sleeping within it. Hence why Giant's Cradle? Well, I just fixed with it. I was broken. No big deal. Hey, Emma. I'm totally bored lately. All my work's being done by assistants now. If you come up with something exciting... Ah, uh, that's what she said last time. I feel much better now that all the repairs are going on. See, we're starting to improve a flower named Sweet Candy. It's also used for a ship. Um, we're actually starting to improve the well-being of Adelaide. Which, again... We've skipped part of the game. I am so confused. Alright, let's enter, exit and enter again. Oh, I just realized I have my frame rate set slightly off. It's at 60 FPS instead of 5994, I think it is. Alright, nothing visible yet. I'm assuming you still say cobblestones, yeah. Housing for the homeless, 10,000 Gela. I don't even have that much money, oh no. I think the housing one is the next major step. You know what, I'm actually going to look this up. Adelaide Restoration. Uh, yes.
Adelaide restoration. Adelaide restoration. Do, 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 do. Where are you? Why are you not found on there? You're supposed to be there. There's the full mystic list. That would have been nice to find earlier. Monster items, randomizer items, stores, Adelaide restoration. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's more people for a while. 10 and 20,000 or more people. Okay. All right. We need more money. We should rest before anything else. That would make sense. Once more, we still have skipped a chunk of the game. I really don't understand how this is working. I haven't done any plot. I can save over that spot. Okay. Um... I mean, that's not supposed to be an optional part of the game. There's a statue that we're supposed to go to in um, St. Centaur. So this is actually where we're supposed to go. Item floating in the bottle. Lucky card gained. See what I mean? Giant's Cradle. This Giant's Cradle. Anyway, random encounter on the ground. It is Larva. Meh. I think those are one shot even by Cecilia at this point. Nope, not quite by Cecilia. But Cecilia did level up from it. That's good. Yep, Giant's Cradle, okay. That was the spot I was thinking of, which means that this one is something else. Get out. Get out. Saint Centaur? Saint Centaur. I'm just curious. Yeah, it's still there. It's still the way it was. Interesting. We've completely skipped part of the game and it's actually acting correct. How is this possible? How? I don't understand. Anyway, St. Centaur stuff is not really a threat anymore. Yeah, even Cecilia's one-shotting. I should probably have that be a button on my controller, now that I think about it. Anyway, we can't really go any further in here. Oh yeah. Inner C. So that little area, um, actually... I can make this work, hold on. Capture cursor. There we go. So, this area here is the inner sea. You can see the little master cursor. We have 10,000 money after this combat. All right, so if I am correct, the trick is that it takes one battle, two, three, four, five. As in, you unlock it after the first attempt, second attempt, third attempt, fourth attempt, and this one will be fifth attempt. Rage is such a good buff. No, oh, that was the first attempt. Also, die. <laughs> it's just an instant death attack. Not really that great. Also, that's the one downside. You can't use heal blade out of combat, which is weird because it's still totally healing magic. So out of combat, I frequently use Cecilia's magic. Well, there's obviously something there. Can't go there. 
There's a lot of interesting things you can go to at this point. And once you get to the outer sea, you can go everywhere in the game, I think. This time, I want you to rage, Jack. Where am I? Where am I? Oh. Okay, that's the um, entrance to the Outer Sea. So when we go through there later on, we will be able to get to the Outer Sea. Venom Bears. Those are easy, aren't they? No, they're not. Never mind. This is the higher level version. Well, they don't really have much in the way of defense, do they? They just have gobs of hit points. <laughs> Well, they hurt less than some other things, so that's nice. Trick store. Analyze. Shoot him in the face. Couldn't steal. Okay, they actually have stuff. Probably Potion Berry would be my guess. Level 21. It's actually about the correct power for us. That's weird. We were just in areas with, like, level 28 enemies. I mean, I'm not in Saint Centaur, so where am I? Rosetta Town. Wow. We don't even have a reason to be here. This is a nice town, just like me. Weapons. Yep, we are poor because I did a lab donation again. That's fine. I'm gonna do the rainbow wand first. Yeah. And the night fencer. The reason why I want to do the rainbow wand first is because, um, no, we still can't buy potion berries. Um, Cecilia will be able to mystic her old wand. Little girl living by herself at the east edge of town. Not supposed to play with her though. Four hundred ninety-eight gela. Arms Meister, or Arms Reloader, not Arms Meister. I keep accidentally saying one when I mean the other. The reports of elves hanging out in this town for at least two hundred years. The Elu that lives in this town is probably the last Elu from Filgaia. That's right! There's an Elu who lives here. I wonder why it stays here. That's very offensive. That's not an it. It's a she, and she's very nice. Rumor has that the Elu living on the outskirts of the town have been there for many decades. Do you know how spooky that is? No, that sounds freaking awesome. Stupid humans. Girl from the east end of town's a little strange. This is that Elu girl, our mare is ill. I bought this dog to keep the Elu away from my house. People in this town aren't very nice, making my personality somewhat unfriendly. One Gela coin. Uh, where is the one Gela coin? There it is. Heads or tails? Flip the coin. Tails! That's it. Girl from the east end of the town's a little strange. You're strange. She's awesome. Yep, there's the armsmeister. Tokanaka? Tokanaka. That's graph. Well, guess I'm gonna go fill across graph. We're almost done with black magic. 
Confusion, which is not very useful in my mind. Most stats effect spells in RPGs aren't very useful. And Wild Arms is certainly one of them. Power Apple. I get to play my older brother again today. Ha <laughs> ha you're not invited. I saw this glowing. Ready, Apple. I need to use up some of my apples now that I think about it. I've eaten the deserts. End all. What do I do now? I have no idea what that was supposed to say. Magic gear. Still stuff here, okay. There's the mayor. There's a rumor that my illness was caused by the Elu living on the just outside of town. Luckily, my sons are healthy and doing fine, thanks to my money. <sighs> I really don't like Rosetta Town. Except for the Elu. I like her. Pub. Town may be rich, but there's something missing in the hearts of the people. Both this town and I have been benefited greatly from trade on the inner sea. The girls are busy all the time. Ha ha ha. Creepy. You guys look unusual. See anything you like? Sounds very special, don't you think? No. Don't you think money is everything in this world? My grand hat is worth more than all of your money. Jack is finally over 100 defense. Hooray. The Elu girl gets bored easily if we don't play with her. This Elu looks like a little girl. I hate seeing her get harassed by the town folk. Not everybody here is terrible. The Elu at the edge of town has always looked the same. Her looks haven't changed since I was a child. Elus must be like demons or monsters. What the hell, people? Ugh. <sighs> Headgear. That's for Rudy. Alright, we're done with looting things. Uh, we've got seven minutes left. I guess it's time to talk to the Elu. Excuse me. Sorry. Pretty flowers. I didn't know that beauty like this still existed in Vilgaia. Hey, do you like flowers? Are these your flowers? They're beautiful. I'm different from you. I'll get you in trouble if I talk to you. You're an Elu, aren't you? I met your kind before, in a ruin. Although, it was only a holographic projection. I learned that all the Elu disappeared after the war with the demons. But here you are in front of me. I... I'm the only one left in Filgaia. I'm all alone. What do you mean alone? I have to pay penance here. That's why I could not leave here with the rest of them. Hey, give me that thing! We want to play with it now! Give it to me! What a bunch of rat-faced kids. I agree, Jack. The three of them against one girl. You're an L. That's an Elu. You must- you'll be cursed! No. Hey, what? Our father's mayor of this town! You're gonna be cursed! You'll see that Rudy is the one that defended her. Why'd you do that for me? No one has nice been nice to me in a long time. I'm supposed to be alone forever. Thank you for your help today. That's Mariel. Remember what I renamed Jack at the start of the game? By the way, Mariel's a character in the remake. Those boys always mess up my flowers. You have nice flowers. You must like them a lot. These flowers possess strength as well as beauty. They come up through the hard ground. I love that strength. Are you trying to bring back the greenery in your own life? That's real strength. 
strength like a person strength a person like myself can't manage i'm not strong i'm a the father of those boys has a grave illness i know the cure i kept quiet because <sighs> an herb called the arnica grows in the forest to the south the arnica will cure his illness i was afraid they do terrible things to the forest so i kept silent you'll be strong with friends let's go to the forest and get some of that arnica tomorrow The Arnica is in one of my flower fields. She's now a member of your party. In the remake, she actually joins your party at this point, and you can use her in combat and so on. The flower that Mariel grows is simple, yet somehow profound. Also, her house is in great disarray. We don't have armor right now. This is the forest in question. Forest mound. Note what that looks like. Yep. Right here. The herb is full of energy. This is the Arnica herb. It should heal the mare's sickness. Hey, there's an excellent playground in the middle of the forest. Let's make this our fort. It's ours for sure. This is our playground. Get out. Please, they're important herbs. Don't abuse them. I said move. Don't you understand? Ugh. Yeah, Rudy just flat out punches him. You hit me. I'm the mayor's son. Ariel came to pick these herbs for your father. Both the Elu and the humans live in Vilgaia. Well, technically it's one Elu that lives in Vilgaia, but whatever. Why should we fight each other when demons threaten both of us? I don't understand. I was told human history contained many battles. What's wrong with the strong leading the weak? <sighs> you dream chasers possess the power to fight, so don't be hypocrites. Okay, now. Don't be afraid. I'm confused. No one's ever been nice to me. I don't know what to do. Herb Arnica acquired. By the way, through here is a little mound that we... There's a magical machine. It seems inactive. We'll be going through that a little bit later in the game. Uh, I think actually around the midpoint of the game now that I think about it. And no, we are not at the midpoint of the game yet. This is actually a fairly long game. So my memory was right that I can do this sequence before stopping for the night. That's right, it was over here. The Elu brought healing herbs? Don't be ridiculous. The rumor has it that the Elu cast a spell on me to make me sick. You should ask the people spreading these rumors how hard she fought to get these herbs for you. We met your sons at the South Forest. They should know. Let's go, Mariel. Now you have a strong heart. Don't quite understand that, but sure. I have to water my plants. I have a feeling I can change the world like you said. And, well, we've finished a side quest for Mariel. Um, once more, we're doing this early, and things are starting to get more and more out of order from my memory. Thank you. All I can do is give you these flowers. She is the only source of small flowers for the entire rest of the game. Every time you come by, she will have a small flower for you. I believe these flowers will someday bloom again in Filgaia. I like Mariel. She's... I mean, yeah, Zed is probably my favorite character in this game, but Mariel's a very close second. She just wants to help. 
I knew the Yellow was not a bad girl. No, you lied earlier. What, the Yellows aren't monsters? Duh. Yep, people in this town are still not very nice. Is it the Yellow? Uh, I'm going to save because we have horribly gone out of order now. As I see what's at the front and we're going to stop here. Also, it's been almost exactly an hour. All right, and we're going to go ahead and stop here. Hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you next time, Internet. We may have to have an intermission where I actually do Satan Centaur, though, because I'm about to spoil some things. Bye!